Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris, and when we went to break, uh, I indicated that I would have uh, as my guest on this next segment a fantastic young man who is leading the 100 black men of the Bay Area. His name is Chuck Baker. Chuck, welcome to All About Community. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, I tell you, it is a fantastic uh, uh, deal to get you here. I tell you, it was tough to get you here, but <laughs> we finally got you. <laughs> no, he voluntarily uh, came as soon as I asked him, because that's the kind of a person he is. But let's chat for a moment about your background, education, profession, community involvement. Yeah, so community's been a part of my DNA since I was a very young person. My mother was a clinically trained psychologist. Um, and so she uh, worked with the disabled. Um, she created a Muppets version of, um, of a show that was for those that had cerebral palsy. So it was like Muppets mm -hmm. with helmets. And um, <clears throat> we, we saw that at a very young age. I had a lot of people coming into our home with disabilities, mental illnesses. And so I was very compassionate and that, that was embedded in me. So when I was, in, I was able to give back as early as I'd say Sophomore year in high school, I started tutoring. Did um, you go to high school locally? I went. I grew up in Cincinnati, then and then and then I went Cincinnati, to Cincinnati. All Cincinnati, right. Cincinnati, Ohio. So that's my hometown. Yeah, grew, I well, love born Cincinnati. in Indianapolis and in Cincinnati. I've been there a lot of times. Yeah, good stuff. I had a brother. Uh, my brother used to live there and worked at Procter and Gamble. Oh, well, there you go. That's that's <laughs> the that's the job we get there. I, I, I actually came back home after I, I went to school at Georgetown University in D.C. Okay. Um, and then came back to Cincinnati and worked there for a little bit, and then moved to New York. I don't know whether you. I'm, I'm sort of off subject, but uh, that's okay. I don't know whether you ever uh, met a longtime friend of mine there, Dwight Tillery. I know Dwight. You know yeah. Dwight? Yeah. Boy, Dwight Sharp and I guy. used to be just like this. Oh, is that right? The, well, he was a lawyer. Yeah. And uh, was involved in the National Bar. When I was president of the National Bar, he was uh, one of my vice presidents. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah Dwight's amazing. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, that, that was part of my DNA. And then, you know, in high school and college. And then throughout my life, I've mentored and just tried to, you know, give back. Um, and so I went to school at Georgetown University, <clears throat> majored in finance, worked at Procter & Gamble, um, and then went off and did other things in, in entrepreneurial ventures. Well, when did you come to California? Uh, 2010. Oh, you haven't been here that long. Yeah, well, 2010, yeah. And it, 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 was, it was long overdue. Years. It was long overdue, Bob. It, you know, it was, it was uh, one of those things where I had a tech company and I knew that I needed to be where the action was and where the funding was happening, so I just moved out here. Um, and then permanently kind of divest everything in New York, where I'd been for 15 years, 12, 12 to 15 years, um, 15 years when I finally divested and then uh, moved to Oakland in 2012. Um, and so, and then got married. Uh, Congratulations. 2013, thank you. Yeah, and I've been married for um, 37 years as of uh, last week. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, 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 a, we haven't talked about, you know, that. You know your 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 vice because uh, it's it's a it's a heck of a journey. But it, uh, we're having a great great time. My wife and I and two kids. So yeah. So I've been here since 2012. Married 2013. Live in Alameda right now. We we lived in Oakland uh, for uh, about five years down here mm -hmm. down on 14th Street and, and Jefferson, and then moved out to Alameda in 2018. Good. So yeah, and just enjoying the hundred um, in 2015 after sort of seeing the hunter from the outside, having some friends and realizing this is, this is the organization to join because of the community work, right? And I was just so impressed. So a brother named Al Thompson was like, man, you gotta join. <laughs> and so I, I joined in 2015. And so that was, uh, Al was the reason why you decided to join. He, he, was, he was the main reason, yeah, I gotta give him the credit. I mean, he, um, he and I just got close and just, you know, great guy and was like, man, you gotta join the hunter, you know? And I was like, I want to make sure I can fulfill my expectations because you guys are busy. And so for, for a year, I kind of observed and was like, okay, I think I can position my life where I can give back in a way that the 100 expects. And, and, and so, what yeah. is the mission of the 100 black men of the Bay Area? So the mission is to uplift the entire Bay Area community, right? Um, but by, how do we do that? Through advancing, mm -hmm. ex advancing the social, economic health, and economic progress of African Americans, right? And so we want to... Um, show our youth the way through mentoring, um, through sponsorship, uh, 
active sponsorship, getting internships, not, not just the mentoring where you do life skills coaching, that kind of thing, tutoring, but also throughout their lifetime, throughout college, if they decide to go into the trades or military, throughout that experience, and then once they get a job, you know, after college, help them get a job, and then after they get a job, mentoring them. And so, and then we accept them to come back and become members. It's, it's called mentoring across well, the Well, how lifetime. does one become a member of the 100 Black Men? So you talk to actually uh, either Al Thompson, uh, Dr. Lawrence Van Hook, or Daryl Walker, who are our membership co-chair, mm -hmm. and I can send you that information, make that available to you. And then what happens is uh, you fill out an application, an interest application, and we want to get to know you. And so we basically look for you to express interest earlier in the year so that you have the full year, full calendar year to participate in our activities. Some are internal, some are external. We want you to show up on some Zoom sessions with our kick it sessions with our boys. Well, it didn't used to be Zoom sessions. Yeah, it didn't used to, right, it's crazy, right? It used to be face to face, so that would be great. Um, and so when we do you know, get together now, we might get together at Danny's at Monahan's on the Hill. We might do some social distancing there and do a little fellowshipping. Um, but we have various you know, activities that we, we invite the prospects into throughout the year so they know what they're getting into and we know them. So by the time they do official interviewing and we go through the intake process, we know each other a little bit. That's, that's kind of something that really helps us um, get the right guys and vice versa and make sure they're choosing the right organization. And in, <clears throat> in all candor, I am a member of the 100 black men of the Bay Area and, and a proud member. I've been a member for a number of years. Uh, we're going to have to go to break, so don't touch that remote. Please, just put it down. We will be right back with All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris, and I am talking with Chuck Baker, chairman of the board of the 100 Black Men of Oakland. We'll be right back.